Hi everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my tutorial channel. Today we are going to do section 7-3, the advanced level from the IFM practice exam. Now let's look at the first problem. For a stock you are given, the current stock price is 525. The stock pays dividends continuously at the rate proportional to its price. The dividend yield is 2%. The price is for 1.5 year European put under various dry prices are below. A 505 dry put costs 1.97. A 515 dry put costs 3.63. A 525 dry put costs 6.17. A 535 dry put costs 9.76. A 545 dry put costs 14.47. The continuously compiled is first free interest raised for percent. You own five special call options, each with one of the dry prices less than three. Each of these call options can be only exercised immediately or 1.5 years from now. Which of the five special options should be immediately exercised? So here we are given um, five options. And the question asks for which uh, option we have to exercise now and which option we should exercise 1.5 years later. Uh, in order to answer that question, we have to compare the profit if we exercise the option today and the profit if we exercise the option 1.5 years later. So we see that the current stock price is 525 and the trike is either 505 or 515 or 525, 535 or 545, depending on which option you're uh, owning. So if, let's say, if we exercise these five options now, then the profit should be uh, the stock price subtract the trike. But if we exercise one point five years from now we would have a call option. So we basically have to compare the current stock price subtract K and the call price option. So you see that if we exercise today the profit is S0 minus K 525 minus K otherwise we have a call option. So we are going to do one by one. For the first option five uh, all five try put the 525 minus k here is 525 minus 505 we got 20 is the profits if we exercise today but the call price we have to use the uh, put call parity to find the call price we got 35.86 put call parity to apply the formula because we got a put price and we just have to use the formula call price subtract put price is equal to S zero e to the delta t minus delta t then subtract k e to the minus r t and similar for the other uh, option so we see that the first option here the, the profits that we have if we exercise today is 20 but if we exercise 1.5 years later we got 35.86 so of course, like SI later would be more profitable. So the first option we shouldn't exercise immediately, but we should exercise one point five years later. Similar for the second put option, five eleven, uh, five fifteen try put. If we exercise today, we got ten dollars. But if we exercise one point five years later, we got twenty eight. So we see that like SSI later should be more beneficial. The third one, 525 try put, if we exercise today, we don't have any profit. But if we exercise uh, 1.5 years later, we got 21.2. So it's more beneficial. So 525 try put, we, ha we should exercise it three years, uh, 1.5 years later. Similar, when we consider 535 try put, we see that the profit today is negative 10 because uh, 525 minus 535 is negative 10. So we don't have any profits, but we lost $10 if we exercise today. But if we exercise a year and a half later, we got 
15.4. So of course we got um, we should exercise later. And the last one we sh we should also exercise later. So the answer is none of these five special options should be immediately exercised. All of them should be exercised a year and a half later in order to gain profit. Problem two. You are given the current price of the stock is 52. Dividends of amount D and this where will be paid in six months and one year, respectively. A European one year 50 try call option sells for 5000 A European one year 50 try put option sells for $2. Excuse me. A, a European one year 50 try call option sells for $5, not 5000 uh, a European one year fifty try put option sell for two dollars. The divide, uh, I mean two point zero eight eight. The divide, the, the dividend due one year is paid immediately before the option mature. The continuously compounded risk free interest rate is six percent. Calculate D. So use put call parity. We got car price subtract put price is equal to the current stock price of fifty two minus D some the first dividend the bre the the first dividend is D it is past six months from now so the present value of D is D e to the negative point oh six over two because six months is half year and uh, here we got the contingency compound risk to interest rate is six percent the second dividend did this were. Uh, which is collected one year later. So the present value of this square should be this square e to the negative point of six, and the try is call uh, it pay on uh, at the end of the year. So the present value is fifty e to the negative point of six. So from this equation, we have a quadratic equation: point nine four eighteen d square minus point nine seven zero four d minus 1.9998 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. So we have to use the quadratic formula to evaluate D and uh, either we have no value for D or one value for D or two value for D. But here when I solve this equation I have two value of D. One is negative and one is positive. Of course the dividend cannot be negative because it's an amount of money that uh, defined here. So D here is positive and the answer should be 1.03. So the answer D here is 1.03. So six months from now, the dividend will pay 1.03 and a year later is 1.03 square. Problem three, let PKT be the price of a European T years try, uh, K try put on the stock. If the continuously compounded risk-free interest rate is 0.15, what is the range of P25 1.5 subtract P30 1.5? Again, um, for the question asking about the range, we are going to apply a formula, a new formula. We got P30 1.5 subtract P25 1.5. Of course, like if the higher the try, the higher the price. So here P35 1.5 subtract P25 1.5 should be non-negative and um, this amount should be less than or equal to 30 subtract 25 times e to the minus RT. R here is 0.15 and T is 1.5 because it's 1.5 years. So we got the right hand side is 3.9926 which means P30 1.5 subtract P25 1.5 should be Squeeze between 0 and 3.9926. But the question asks for P25 minus P30, so we have to flip the side. So we got negative 3.9926 less than or equal to P25 1.5, subtract P30 1.5, and it is less than or equal to 0. Problem 4. You are given the following prices of European puts. They are written on the same underlying stock and have the same maturity. A 45 try put cost 4. A 49 try put cost P49. A 55 try put cost 9. Find the maximum and the minimum values of P49. So here, 
All right, so first, zero less than or equal to phi, P49 minus P47 because um, the higher the trike, the higher the price. And this should be less than or equal to 49 minus 47 times e to the minus rt. And this equal to 2 e to the minus rt, which is less than or equal to 2, because e to the minus rt is less than 1. And from here we got p49 should be less than or equal to p47 plus 2. And it is greater than four, p47, which means p49 should be between 4 and 6. So this is the first try when we find a range for P47. However, when you are given the three option, there's another constraint to uh, set up the range of the value of the price option. We have um, the butterfly spreads for three puts with different try K1 less than K2 less than K3. Uh, we got PK2 less than or equal to lambda PK1 plus 1 minus lambda PK3, where lambda is K3 minus K2 over K3 minus K1. And of course, lambda should be between 0 and 1. Here in this case, lambda is 55 minus 49 over 55 minus 47, which is 0 0.75. And from here we got P49 should be less than or equal to 0.75 which is uh, lambda times uh, peak of K1 is 4 plus 0.25 times 9 which is 5.25. So we see that P49 should be less than 5.25. So combine the first range and the second range, we got P49 should be between 4 and 5.25. All right. Problem five. Consider two European car option with the same underlying stock and maturity. The price of second try and second five try car options are twenty six and twenty respectively. What strategy will allow you to take advantage of the arbitrary opportunity? So here we see that the price of the second try is twenty six, but the second five try car option is twenty. So we have uh, usually let's say this: if um, if you want to make a business, in it, you usually have to buy the products from the wholesale manufacturer and then sell it to the customer with a higher price. So basically, you buy low and sell high in order to earn profits. So similar here, you have to buy the low one and sell the high one in order to have benefits. And the profits that you have here is not for use but for investment. So we have a code that is buy low, sell high, and invest the profit. Here which means we have to buy the 65 try call option which is uh, when you buy the 65 try option you have to pay $20 and then you sell 60 try call option, you get $26. So eventually you have $6. And this $6 you can either invest into, you know, kind of for example, stock or investment, or you can lend this $6 to earn interest. All right, so that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy my video. See you later.